Hello friends, my name is Vivek Sharma. Today we can cover this interesting problem that's called number of ice lines. So in this problem we have been given one matrix and this matrix contains number 1 and number 0 and 1 represents the land here and 0 represents the water, right? And we need to count the number of ice land. So and ice land is surrounded by water of course and connecting adjacent lines horizontally or vertically so let's try to understand this problem from the whiteboarding so let's say i am having this kind of the this kind of the matrix right so in this uh, matrix if i see like how many iceland is there then uh, if i count the number of ones these are all the ones right and so they form one iceland so this is one iceland and another iceland would be this one right so total number of Iceland is 2. Let's uh, consider a uh, little bit different examples. So in this example, let's see the black color and then 111 so let's let's consider this uh, little bit lengthy matrix and how many number of matrix is here so definitely one uh, these are the connected ones so one island will be here this is one island right they all are connected uh, four directionally with the one another another island iceland is this one another iceland is uh, this one and another Iceland is this one, right? So total number of Iceland is one, two, three, four. So this output would be four. So here, if you observe the pattern, is uh, whatever one is connected, uh, all the four directions up, down, left, right, that is considered as Iceland, and then we are we have to count that. So this is the problem. <clears throat> now to solve this problem. Uh, definitely we have to traverse through this matrix and wherever we find one that's what we only care wherever we find one we will start from our search from there and we will go deep all the four directions for every cell till we find keep finding the one we will just keep traversing once we find zero then we will go back and we will say okay this is not the valid case so we will just consider the one right and this is the typical uh, use case of the depth first search when i see the depth first search because if you see the pattern right like we are just going the deep right every direction we are just going deep basically till when till when we keep finding the one right so that's why i am saying this is the depth first search wherever we just go deep then it, it is depth, depth first search uh, use case this is one thing right and another thing is every cell we have to cover the four direction uh, left right up uh, up down and let me clear with this board little bit and then let's try this one so let's say if i am uh, starting from the first cell what it will do it will just go to the left uh, and it will mark uh, it will just uh, go to this one and it will see zero this is zero so it will not consider this one and it will come back to the one here itself again right and in the recursive approach we have to maintain either the boolean array to mark it as a visited or we can reuse the same grid itself to mark the uh, iceland uh, uh, mark the one itself as a visited and the reason we need to mark it as a visited so that we can just make sure that during recursion we are not calculating recalculating uh, these ones right and the reason of doing that because in the recursion every cell is going four direction so there is a high possibility that this cell can again go to the left side and can again consider uh, again consider this guy right uh, and we don't want to reconsider so that's why we will just mark it as a visited and then we will just keep traversing so let's uh, quickly create a couple of placeholders and then we will go back again to the whiteboard and then we will try to dry run our code right so let's say this count is itself is zero and we want to traverse our matrix this is two dimensional matrix right so let's do this and i equals to zero i is less than 
8 dot length and then i plus plus similarly i would do int j equals to 0 j is less than grid 0 dot length and then j j plus plus right and i really takes care of grid whenever i encountered one then only i will just consider those otherwise i am not going to consider any other thing right so i will do one and then i will do dfs right and after every recursive call i will increment my counter because we can see here like uh, let's say this is one iceland right and in fact this is only one iceland and this will also cover so every recursively it will just keep finding all the one basically and then after one after one recursive call it will return here right it will come after recursive call right and then i will increment the counter now let's uh, implement depth for search helper method and this helper method is having two dimensional character array and let's say it's having the row column right base case would be like if uh, row itself is less than zero or it's uh, greater than grid dot length minus one or let's say it is column is less than zero or column is greater than grid dot length minus one right then we will go ahead and return else we need to go all the four directions so let's go ahead and do that as well so this grid row plus one column right and let's do all the four directions so row plus one row minus one column plus one and column minus one right so row plus one is uh, direction down this is up direction this is right direction and this is left direction column minus one is uh, left direction so if i have to explain it from here let's say this is r1 row this is r2 then this is r3 right so row plus one is r2 from R1 if I see I will go downward so this is down direction from R2 if I go up like R minus 1 uh, R minus 1 will be uh, upside and column minus 1 similarly C1 C2 C3 right so C2 if I go right then it will be C3 so I am just up and I am just incrementing C3 will be C2 plus 1 and C1 is C2 minus 1 right so left is uh, left side of the column of C2 right so this is just uh, <coughs> to uh, show it that what we are doing in the diagrammatic manner so anyways uh, here we want to mark it as a wish state as well so as i mentioned like we in the recursion we don't want to uh, we don't want to reconsider some cell again so we will just mark it as a wish state and what we will do it mark it as a wish state either uh, we can just use some other character let's say i am using a star or has basically here and i am assuming that this has does not exist in the this has does not exist uh, uh, in this iceland right so i can just mark this as a visited right so what i would do if row column if it is already visited right or if it is not visited but i found the water right while doing doing my traversal so if it is zero itself i will just go ahead and return and this is pretty much it and um, after this code i think this should work fine so great row is i and column is j right let's quickly try to uh, see the compilation error if there is any so there is some compilation error let's see so great row column cannot find symbol great so this is typo here so let's correct that let's try to compile it again error missing yeah so we need to return count here right <clears throat> so let's go ahead and do that 
and if it works let's quickly see the time complexity and space complexity here as well time complexity would be m into n and space complexity would also be m into n uh, by in the worst case by taking the recursive implicit stack right so in the recursion we are just going through and then it can just go traverse each and every row and column that's why it could be m into n uh, let's uh, quickly uh, try to see how it's going if it is working then uh, i will just try run the code so this is working fine right so i think this solution is uh, as expected let's quickly uh, dry run our code whatever the whatever the we have coded right so i think approach is clear uh, problem is clear now let's uh, just try to dry run I'm just uh, uh, I just make it bigger right made it bigger so let's see uh, using the different color with the red color let's say I'm started from the this one right what it will do it will just go to the uh, right uh, so let's say our first statement is row plus one right so row plus one means it will just go to down right so let's go down So this I am starting from here. It will just go down, and it will mark it as a visited as a hash, and it will go down. It will mark it as a visited here as well. And if we see our code, then it's again recursively it's calling again, and then it's marking it as visited again, going the row plus one right. So it's going here. It's marking it as visited here itself. And if we see our code row plus one again, so row plus one. It will just hit the base condition. So base condition is basically row is greater than uh, grid dot length minus one. So what it will do? It will return. It. And where it will return? It will return to the caller. I mean, uh, from the uh, we are using the recursion, right? So it, these calls are going to the recursive stack call. So it will just uh, control will go to the previous statement, and then it will return to this here previous statement, right? And then uh, the next statement will be executed, and the next statement is row minus one. So row minus one, if we see, uh, there is no any row right here, right? So this is also the hit hit the base condition. So the base condition is row is less than zero. So then it will just go to the next uh, next uh, line, and that is column plus one. So column plus one is nothing but it's a right statement. So it will just uh, go to here, and then it will hit again the recursion, uh, and the recursion is basically saying row plus one, right? So row plus one is nothing. Row plus one. If I go to the row plus one downstairs, this is also basically uh, base condition because it's zero. So it will just return. And uh, row minus one. If I do the row minus one, that's uh, less than zero, so it will hit the base condition. It will again come back, and then column plus one again. The next third line. So column plus one is nothing but zero. This is also base condition, so it will hit the base condition. It will come back here until the time it mark it as a has here as well, right? On this in this line. Earlier I mentioned above, and then I just mentioned it here. So don't get it confused by uh, just the writing. And uh, now uh, this call stack has been completed right now it will uh, get out from the basically recursive call stack because it hit the base condition then it will execute column minus 1 so column minus 1 is nothing but it's uh, on the left side so if i go the left side it's also visited so it's has so it will again hit the base condition and then it will just come out from the all this uh, recursive call and it will return to here and then it will increment the count plus plus so it will do the count plus plus similarly our matrix will check wherever the next one so this next one is here so it will just uh, hit this condition and it will check all the four directions similarly and then it there is there is no connection of this so it will return the call again and the count will be again plus plus and it will mark it as a has similarly it will find next one in our matrix so let, let's say next matrix one is here so it will mark it as a has and then it will go to the next neighbor that is also mark it as a has and uh, it will again return so in this case basically uh, Iceland number of Iceland is three so that's how this code is working basically I was just trying to dry run uh, in the recursive fashion but uh, if we are able to understand like all the four directions and if we are able to capture the base conditions correctly then i think we should be good so we already submitted another uh, uh, really uh, small optimization we could do if we want to we can just make it not equals to one so not equals to one is also is also 
means uh, like the same way right if it is it can be either zero or it can be either hash as well and uh, not equals to one is also the same way so not equals to one one means uh, if i do the control z here this is the same meaning right so let's try to run this as well but this is i mean this is as per your choice if you want to do this then you can do uh, not equals to one either otherwise uh, if it makes more sense basically to put uh, like this then i think this is also fine this is perfectly fine uh, having the wasted and having the water zero so these are the base condition but base conditions should be the uh, should be captured correct correctly and another thing is uh, we should be uh, having the wasted thing so here we are just reusing our grid basically to mark it as a wasted so these are the two important things while doing this recursion and depth first search uh, hopefully this was useful Thanks a lot. Bye.